welcome back to the show this is barcelona career mode we are coming to the end of the season only three games left to play for barcelona as we are sitting in third place with 84 points atletico madrid running away with the league title but uh, Bas uh real madrid not too far behind and they do have a game in hand as well so that could be an interesting finish to the end of the season for both teams either real madrid or atletico madrid are going to win this league title but as i see it right now it is in the hands of atletico madrid to throw it away but for us uh it's a di whole different story because um mm, i don't see how we can win the league title from this position the league title is done and dusted in my opinion uh, right now, I'm just waiting to see what's going to happen at the end of the season. Are we going to get sacked by the morning? I have no idea, but hopefully we do have the grace of another season. Maybe we can do much, much better. As you can see, the manager rating right now is at 55 red. It's on red, 55. And uh, that is not good. That That is not good. And uh, we, did, we did not accomplish the anything we did not accomplish anything in this season that was given to us to do even the youth department i didn't even bother to do that so the board might be looking at those kind of things and going like why should we give you the uh the opportunity to 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 manage this team again for next season uh i might say we had we did have a whole lot of dead wood in this in this team i tried to change the team around we started to pick up points after the january transfer window um only to go lose against um atletico madrid that was a crucial game that was really really needed to win but it just could not happen on the day but at least we did get three points off them this season uh, that's the only positive I can really recall. But other than that, I mean, what can I say? A poor season by any stretch. That's It has been a really, really poor season. Uh, now we do only have three games just to play these three okay, games to see if we can. Um, it looks like third place position is secured, so we should be playing champions league football next year if i'm still around or maybe this one is just a one season thing uh i'm just gonna leave it to the board and see whether they have the confidence to give me back to give me whether they do have the confidence to give me the keys to uh manage this team next season but with the way things are looking it's going to be very very hard for them to actually do that i i fear i fear getting sacked and straight away we do concede and uh that's just putting misery into our team right now just a little bit after three minutes yeah i don't th I, <laughs> if we fail to win these three games i don't think the board are gonna be too happy about that so we need to try and uh do something here but with no real incentive today it'll be interesting to see what sort of performance they put in lee well yeah i think the manager will expect a good performance i try griezmann forcing a save we're gonna need to come back into this game Come on. Defensively, we've been very, very poor this season. Another clear cut chance saved by the goalkeeper. Come on. Corner kick played over. Whatever it takes to keep them out. Dangerous looking attack. He's got to score. Oh, another save. 
Fight of staying in it. He's not happy. He is not happy about the defensive things we are doing in this game right now. Absolutely poor. Still under pressure here. Defending to do. Come on. Frankie De Jong in possession. Lee, what do you make of the situation? Well, Derek, no player likes to be dropped, to be fair. I and mean, this can go either of two ways. He can either sulk or he gets a reaction. And I think the manager's looking for that. Come on. Shot attempted and putting his body on the line. Whipped in by Griezmann. Well, he couldn't quite keep the header down. Well, it was the pace on the cross. Sometimes with that much power on the cross, just cushion it. Otherwise, it goes over. We really, really need to come back into this game. Anuar. There's no two ways about it. With it. Here is another defensive error that we keep doing all season. Come on. It's with Milan Skriniar. Brandt. Brandt with the through ball for Antoine Griezmann here. Antoine Griezmann. Come on. Just couldn't keep the ball. I tell you, sometimes when it's not your day, you just know it's not your day. To cross into the center. It's with Standout player for the season, I'll say Simando. He's been superb this season, having to play a whole lot of games without getting any rest. Antoine Griezmann! That should be a corner though. No, it's worth a try though, but when he looks at the position he is in, he'll be disappointed he didn't hit the Come on. The hosts really haven't had too much of the ball, but on the break they've been devastating. The pace really hurts defences. They've been electric when they've had the ball. Well, just couldn't quite keep himself onside. The flag has gone up. Well, they're sitting ever deeper. Well, that's Come on, Fabinho. God damn, son. There's a whole lot of things that need to change in this team. And we keep making the same mistakes as well. Come on. Brat. Brat with a shot in it. At least we are starting to create chances a little bit. De Jong with the ball in here. Come on. Now they've lost it. Dembele. Damn Bala here. Well, he took care of it defensively. It's not happening. Fabinho now. It's not happening and in the final third. Draws to a close. Come on. We're gonna need a strong second half here. A really, really strong second half. And they get the ball rolling in the second half with Barcelona behind. Probably getting sucked by the Fight end of the season it. here. If they give me another chance, I don't know what to say about that, really. Frankie de Jong. Now Griezmann. Laporte. Coutinho. It's with Fabinho. De Jong. Well, great read there to intercept. Absolutely poor. Another La Liga treat in store for you soon on EA TV. It's Real Valladolid and they take on Eibar. Yeah, Derek, it should be a great atmosphere there. It's one I would be tuning in for if I wasn't there with you. Straight down the throat. Another the one going to concede very it's soon the here. It's Come up on. Up. Well, he was just a fraction offside then. That's all he needs to be. Saved a by an offside call. Maybe try... I don't know, maybe to go a little bit more defensive. I feel like with this formation, every time we go a little bit defensive, we do have, we do create chances. So let me just try it out for the next 20 minutes or so. Maybe we're not going to need to go 
throw the kitchen sink into this one. Let's get it. Nelson Semedo. Maybe that can create a little bit of room in the middle here. More action from La Liga coming up for you live here on EA TV. It's Barcelona and they'll be up against Osasuna. Yeah, I'm predicting a cracker there. Both teams will have a real go at each other, I'm sure. Antoine Griezmann! Keeper, Come on! Barcelona are level. Antoine Griezmann well, to the rescue. When the close in on you, you've got to keep your cool, keep your head down, strike the ball, brilliantly done, ball in the back of the net. Well, Defensively, again, a we've been very, very poor this season. Steven, one apiece on this match. That is why we are sitting in a position that we are Here's sitting in right now half an hour remaining then read it superbly to take back possession it's an excellent looking attack courtesy of Griezmann Come on. here Dembele on the ball and just like that they've lost possession Pedro Porro Enes Unal with it Looks promising this. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Fabinho now. Jordi Alba. Frankie de Jong. Nelson Semedo. Griezmann. Fabinho now. Griezmann. Antoine Griezmann, keep the ball, son. Come on. Ready for the throw in. Coutinho. Unal. Now, counter attacking possibilities here. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Magnificent defending. Come on. Coutinho. Brandt with it. And now Coutinho. Oh, goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. Beautifully weighted ball. This is why we adore this game. Late drama. And now they're in front. Well, it looks what like more could you on. ask for? Oh, there's another chance. And there it is, back of the net. It looks like the winner. What more could you ask for? Revisit the goal. Well, here it is again. It's just a perfectly weighted ball in behind and not a bad finish either. Great goal. Come on. Ball rolling again. Can Barca bite? We really need to bite back. <laughs> Whatever that means. Biting back. Um, when I need to take off. Uh, who else can I put in this one? Defensively, they are okay. Maybe put Brandt back into that number 10. And hope for the best. We are playing for a draw at this point. And a substitution in the offing. Brandt with it. Just 10 minutes to go. 10 minutes Brandt. to come up with an equalizer here. Unal with it. Waldo. Room to maneuver on the wing. Pedro Porro. Very good reading of the game to win possession back. Five minutes remaining. And one thing is certain. No one is leaving. Because it's still close. Messi! Oh, yes. Messi. With an equalizer. Incredible scenes. Come on. Messi with an equalizer. When he was looking doom and gloom. Come on. Level again here. This has been quite the roller coaster ride. I 
Antoine Griezmann here. Antoine Griezmann to win it at the end. Come on. Come on. Antoine Griezmann to win it at the end. Can this be a winner? Come on. Not really too confident about what we are doing here. But we have turned it around. We've had the official word. Raf. Minimum of two added minutes. Raf needs to blow the whistle now. Laporte. Blow the whistle, Raf. And there it goes. The final whistle. Able to steal three points against this team. Uh, they were looking at three points there for sure. But a little bit change of tactic and a good substitution of Lionel Messi should bring us level and Antoine Griezmann to finish it off. Let's get it. Um, not. <laughs> I don't really know what's going to happen at the end of the season here. Are we getting sucked? That's all I can think about at this point. Ooh, Atletico Madrid and Real Madrid, 95 points. Both teams sitting on 95 points. Atletico Madrid surviving with a goal difference with only two games left in the season. Who's going to win the league title now? I have no idea. I have no idea, but we're going to... Get into our next game here using my second team. Um, and that spells trouble for sure. It is going to spell trouble for sure. But what else can we do? What else can I do here? Other than putting the team that I think is going to win the game. Um, it's a weak team for sure. A really, really weak team. Um... But anyways, we're going to get into the game and see if we can get ourselves three points. It don't really matter whether we win or not. We're going to finish in the same goddamn position we are in right now. Let's get it. wherever you happen to be welcome to Catalonia welcome to Barcelona a warm welcome from me Derek Ray I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and England defender Lee Dixon an action coming up from the Spanish top division La Liga it's Barcelona and they take on Osasuna cheers Derek yes excited about this one interesting matchup for me we should get a good game here hopefully Genuinely thought they might cash in on that occasion, but haven't been able to do so. Alessandro Schupp. Brazanats now. No. Come on. Precisely what they had been planning. Come on. Well, let's look at this again. We've all hit these in training first time. Bang in the back of the net. Look at the car. Come on. Brilliant. So the match has restarted. One nil here. Defensively, we've been uh, we've been very, very poor. It's actually Gliding disgusting how poor Redis we've been. And in the front, every time Luis Suarez is playing at the front, the table, we can it's like we have no chance whatsoever. Season, but with no real incentive today. It'll be interesting to see what sort of performance they put in, Lee. Well, yeah, I think the manager will expect a good performance. Next season's going to be the thing for me. Is this group of players good enough? Do they have the appetite? Do they have the quality? I'm sure there'll be a few introductions of younger players next season just to blood in with the more experienced ones. But it's going to be a big test for them. Arthur! And the Come on. Himself well. Yeah, it was a good ball in, wasn't it? But the keeper did everything right. Corner for Barcelona. It hasn't come to very much. Well, they're sitting ever deeper. Nelson Semedo. Dembele on the ball. 
Tremendous block. Brazanat snap. And the ball with Shup. Plenty of running room in the wide position. What a vital intervention. It's a penalty. Come on, Raf. Come on, Raf. How is that a penalty? It was way after he played the ball. Come on. And the penalty is converted. I don't think anyone really questioned him. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Arthur has it. Nelson Semedo. Given away. Well, the cross played over, but ultimately up a cul de sac. And now this is Longley. Nowhere to go, really. He's being closed out. Tremendous intuition to win it back. The visit is a struggling with possession, really. But again, we've seen it before. We'll see it again. Their counter-attack play has been absolutely fantastic. Pace really hurts defences, and they've got that in abundance. Messi. What can Messi come up with here? Going to find a fine pass. Get in there. Come on. Come on. Well, it's good play. Ian Wright always told me, stand in the middle of the goal. It sounds simple, but you don't have to get a lot of goals from Come that position. On. So there we have it. 2-1. Fluency of movement. Options in the centre. And a significant block following that cross. Dembele. Artur. On the ball, Luis Suarez. An important interception. Barca making progress. Suarez! Come on. Well, there it is. Can you believe this? From two down, they now find themselves Come on. Well, we can take another look at this. There's nothing much the keeper can do. Close range finish, really good play, and he doesn't miss from there. Luis Suarez probably playing his last game for FC Barcelona here. Ezequiel Avila. Brazanats now. He's going forward well here. Well, it might still work out for them. Well, that's very smart defending, and now they have the ball again. Well, and that will conclude the end of the first half. Let's get into the second half. I think the fans are just here to see if the team can pull up an upset and get three points um why is Dembele playing in that position right now oh um, fatty me like my fatty me like my fatty you know what i'm gonna leave it there for now And see how this one is going to turn out. Fati playing in the midfield. And so the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. Now Busquets. Artur. Artur. Umtiti. Just cutting off the supply. Well, 
Well, he was just a fraction offside then. That's all he needs to be, a fraction. And it was so close. Well, this is the home of live football, EA TV, and we have more live La Liga action for you to look forward to. It's Barcelona against Alaves. Yeah, I'm predicting a cracker there. Both teams will have a real go at each other, I'm sure. Artur! Well, body in the way. And quick thinking to react to the situation and concede the throw. And a substitution in the offing. Busquets. It's got to be. Come on. And the ball is in the net. The crowd have gone crazy. Come on. And quite rightly so. What a finish that is. Come on. Well, let's look at this again. We've all hit these in training. First time. Bang in the back of the net. Look at the calmness of it. Technique. Brilliant. So the game has restarted. And it's Barcelona in front. Well, just couldn't keep the ball. Well, this is the home of live football, and we have more action from La Liga coming up for you. It's Osasuna, and they'll be facing Mallorca. Yeah, it's very easy to build a case for those two teams to make that game a real cracker. You should be tuning in for that one. And the cross is very much on. Busquets. Sergio Busquets with a wild finish. Come on. Well, he's gone for pure power and why not? Sergio Busquets a with a finish for days. Get in there, son. Well, the again, albeit from a different angle. Get well, in no there, son. The and a plan comes together. Total satisfaction. So the current scoreline 4-2. We had to come from behind twice in this game. Beautiful pass. And the ball with Shup. Teammates in the middle. A cross there that was decidedly ordinary. Well, far too much on that particular cross. Well, as we can see, Barcelona enjoying the lion's share of possession. If you don't control the ball in midfield, it's very difficult to have enough of the ball to create chances for your strikers. And really has been a dominant performance. And it is Schupp. He's trying to create something. Well, it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's uh, the referee that is a professional do, foul. That is a professional foul. That will mean a caution. Well, definitely yellow card, Derek. Time for substitutions here. The game is hella done. Maybe we can go back to our shape as well. Fati can come off now. He has done the business. I think we're going to finish as is. Let's get it. Why is Anton Griezmann? Oh, he just came in. But he got the ball though. The boy got the ball. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. He's protecting it effectively. Raf. That's a yellow card too. Now the referee is the man everyone's Come on. Oh, straight red. A straight red. A numerical disadvantage. Red card. Well, you can't see this match being turned on its head now, but you never know. Keep a trying, straight keep your game. red. Come on. Inside the last quarter of an hour. We shouldn't lose this game now. Well, they've lost Raph, the that's another foul. And slipped through beautifully. Electing to cross into the center. Can they put it away? Tremendous intuition to win it back. An incisive pass. Well, 
Antoine Griezmann to win it back. Who can he find? Messi with a through ball here for Fabinho. Come on. Absolutely omnipotent. Fabinho with the fifth. Look at his technique. Come on. Absolutely brilliant. He's got the power, he's got the accuracy, and now he's got himself a goal. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Come on. It's with Ndika. It's with Brazanats. He's given it away inside the final five minutes now. Raf. Oh, yes. Antoine Griezmann. Six goals. Six goals on the day. Come on. Come on. You can see the keeper's done his best, but there's nothing he can do from there. He's not going to miss that one. Come on. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Cardona. Oyer. Juan Villar. A really sumptuous ball. Just drifted into the illegal position. Offside, in the opinion of the officials. Sergio Busquets. Now they've lost it. Suarez. He's going forward well here. Come on. An unforced error, you've got to say. And that will conclude the game. We really had to dig in in this one for this result. We really, really had to dig in. But uh, at the end, the comfortable six goals to two. Um, I think it's going to turn out to be the top goal scorer this season. Anton Griezmann, maybe off Messi by maybe two or three goals or something like that. Uh, but even though it's been a really, really disappointing season. Um, I don't think if any coach will, will do something like this for Barcelona, that will last uh, over the January transfer window. Oops, our manager rating has gone up a little bit. Fifty-eight now. Before the ended, uh, before this game, it was fifty. What fifty-five? And uh, after thirty-seven, uh, well, we have already played thirty-seven games. We're only five points behind the group leaders. Atletico Madrid and Real Madrid so we could finish the season right about eight points behind I guess uh, it's been a really really disappointing season but we're gonna go to the final match day of the season here hopefully we can um, conclude the season with a bang nine points in a bag if it's possible but I don't think that's possible there's still a whole lot to play for. Um, Barcelona and Atletico Madrid winning their league match day 37. As you can see, both teams sitting on 80, 98 points. So they could finish the season with 101 points for both teams, which is which is a little bit scary. Uh, Sergio Busquets has come to us and told us that you have made no attempt to resolve any issue regarding his desire to leave the club do you, we do not have uh discontent amongst the team uh so we have agreed it will be better to sell him as soon as possible please look into the appropriate buyer uh probably gonna sell him um if i do sell him i'll sell him next transfer window uh, the board wishes to inform you that your position with the club is currently under scrutiny. <laughs> the confidence that the board has 
with you <laughs> at the helm of the club is currently uh warm <laughs> oh my god please ensure to get some positive outcomes of your goals for the <laughs> for this season i didn't even do anything i didn't even do anything to say okay at least the board can look at this and say um we are willing to give you another season uh right now i don't know with that letter i just don't know scrutiny uh we have just dropped down to 51 now so anything be <laughs> below 51 i'm sure we are gone i i think we are gone and I, I think this one this one is gonna just be a one season type of thing uh but we're gonna <laughs> oh god we're gonna move on to other things for sure i think this one is done we are getting fired we are absolutely getting fired if i get another shot it'll be a miracle it'll be an absolute miracle for sure uh what what else can i do really i cannot do anything at this point we're gonna go into the final match day of the season and hopefully the board are gonna look at it and be like at least you qualified for the champions league next season can we just see what you have to offer for next season at least at least i mean if i do get one more season out of this I swear I'm doing my very best to win every single goddamn thing available to win. Uh, this season has been and hello from Spain. We find ourselves at the, Estadio de the worst. I'm Derek Ray, and with me here on the commentary position is it Lee has Dixon. been the, the worst season about to reach its conclusion. We're just minutes away from kickoff time. It's Alaves versus Barcelona. Well, what a season it's been, Derek. It's had absolutely everything. Drama at both ends of the table. Spectacular goals and plenty of entertainment too. The players need to finish the season off strongly. We're looking forward to a great game here. The atmosphere's fantastic. Lionel Messi. Here's the Alaves starting lineup. It looks pretty orthodox, Lee. Yeah, I love this formation, 4-4-2. The two main strikers will stay close together. The full-backs will link up with the wide players. The two holding midfielders will sit in front of the centre-backs. Come so, on! This team. Our position at the helm is under scrutiny. God damn. I don't think any, any coach wants to hear that. Very good reading of the game to win possession back. I don't think any coach wants to hear that. It's with Your Milan position Skriniar. is under scrutiny. Brandt with it. Brandt with it. Fabinho now. Back to Brandt. Brandt. Now Griezmann. Coutinho. Come on. Just a fraction offside then. That's all he needs to be, a fraction. And it was so close. Manu Garcia. Niang. Debushi, Mbe Niang, keeping the ball moving. Navarro, Manu Garcia, Vidal, and he has been ruled offside here. Can't have been by an awful lot. Oh, I'm not so sure, but the linesman's got a better view than I have. It's with Fabinho, and a goal has been scored. I think the only disappointing Montano, thing out of the whole. The Saga this season. Atletico Madrid about to be crowned champions here, and that hurts. That absolutely hurts. Nelson Semedo has it. Well, they're sitting ever deeper. Coutinho. Oh, he's given the ball away unnecessarily. Nowhere to go, really. He's being closed out. And Come on. Finding a solution to the problem. Burgui. Manu Garcia. Lucas Perez. Space afforded him. And he was in the right place to intercept.
Lionel Messi on the other side, but is he gonna get the ball? Nope. Dealing with the threat that was real. Come on. Well, someone has found the net at the Estadio della Ceramica. Alan McInerney. It's a goal for Villarreal. 28 minutes played, 1-1. Many thanks, Alan. Pere Ponce. Lucas Perez with it. Excellent vision. Come on. Just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. Well, Barcelona have had total control of possession, but that doesn't lead to goals necessarily. They haven't created enough. Too slow up front, midfield, very average. But Lionel Messi! Messi, come on, Messi. De Jong! De Jong! Way to save the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper come on. Corner kick played over. Well cleared away. Really be able to trouble them here. Laporte Back from the with the ball line. in here. Oh, God. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw in. And Julian Brandt. Whatever it takes to keep them out. Brandt with it. Coming towards the end of the first half. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. We're going to need to try and win this one Griezmann. in the second half. Griezmann to lose the ball possession. And the whistle that is, is going to blow. Come on. Let's get it on into the next one. Second half of this one. We need to try and win. And we need to try and let's win here. Coutinho. Not getting anxious when they have the ball. Antoine Griezmann to find it. Lionel Messi back to Antoine Griezmann. We're going to find what is safe. By the goalkeeper. Come on. What do I need to do to score here? Messi. Can he get a good cross in? Antoine Griezmann is there. Oh, offside. God damn. Come on, Antoine. That was a sweet cross by Lionel Messi. Oh, Antoine Griezmann almost won it. Let's hear about it from Alan. It's a third goal for Real Madrid. It's been scored by Eden Hazard. That's his second today. Antoine Griezmann here. To deal with the cross from the left, and he took full advantage to pounce and prod the ball home. Oh, surely. That is just a stupid pass. If you ask me, why would you want to pass somebody the ball in that position? Antoine Griezmann. Come on. They decided that now is the time to go to the bench. So the corner played into the box. And, it's got and that's going to be a goal kick. kick. God damn. Half an hour remaining then. Well, we had to interrupt Alan McAnally in full flow there. Apologies for that. Well, visionary passing. Lucas Perez prepared to fire. The Blaugrana have given the ball away. But strong play here on the shielding front. Vidal, teammate in support. And a goal it is. Again, wow. What we've seen so far. Well, wow, son. But they won't mind. Now they've got to defend it. Well, here it is. You have to say they've come under a lot of pressure today. Had to do a lot of defending. Come on. Well taken goal. Cut wide so open. Gonna throw a kitchen sink into this one again. And see if we can win the game or not. Um, it's not looking good. It is really not looking good right now. Come on. De Jong. Lionel Messi. 
Well, there's been a goal in the Real Madrid game. Alan McAnally. It's another goal for Real Madrid. 68 minutes played. 4 0. Anton Griezmann. Almost Come on. Come on. It's absolutely fantastic. Julian Brandt. And Semedo again. De Jong. And Julian Brandt. And that was a very fine read. Brandt. 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 Come on. Well, Derek, it's just Come on. Watch this football. Absolutely amazing. We've been very, very poor defensively this season. And everything has gone haywire because of that. Brilliant, brilliant effort. Come on. Point in terms of the goal that was scored. Come on. Well, the earlier goal cancelled out. One apiece. We need another one here. Cut off Alan McAnally for understandable reasons. To confirm, Real Madrid did score in that match. And they are very much in the driving seat, winning 4-0. Moving the ball effectively. Pere Ponce. I can tell you that someone has found the net in the match being played at the most. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. He's got to score. Come on. This is door, this game. Late drop. Come on. <laughs> now, in well, it looks like the game. Oh. No, there's another chance. And there it is, back of the net. It looks like the winner. Oh, God. So the ball rolling again. Can Barca bite back here? We have no more teeth left here. to try and bite anything back here. I don't McAnally think. Because we had to cut him off just when he was in his flow. To clarify, Valencia have found the net in that game. And they now hold a 1-0 lead. Just listen to the fans here, Derek. They've just kept their noses in front. And these fans are doing their best to push them to the final whistle. Come on. To absolutely nothing. Brandt. He's given it straight to the opposition. This game absolutely sums up our season. For sure. It really does. Game over. Game over. Game over. Well, let's see that strike again. First time is always very, very difficult to strike a ball. The timing has to be right. The technique has to be right. But above all, you have to concentrate on the ball as it's coming to you. You know you're not going to take a touch. This is the final mess day of the season. We're going to finish the season 11 points behind Atletico Madrid and Real Madrid. That is very, very disappointing if you ask me. Fabinho. Fabinho with his stupid touch and that will conclude the game and that will conclude the season uh do we have another season coming I have no idea uh, as you can tell the uh, Lionel Messi's reaction it has not been the season he was looking forward to I take full responsibility for that uh, hopefully we do have another season that we can actually try to redeem ourselves But right now I've been told my position is under scrutiny uh, That might not be the case for the second season here uh, But I shall, I shall find out I shall find out for sure Absolutely magnificent goalkeeping. I shall find out whether we do have a job or not um but we did have the majority of the ball as you can see 60 percent ball possession and nine shots seven on target alves on point three shots three on target and three goals as well very very disappointing for us but we're gonna attend this post-match interview and see how well uh what kind of questions we're gonna be getting uh, Atletico Madrid winning by three goals to one. Where's the Real Madrid game? Uh, kind of, I couldn't even see the scoreline for the Real Madrid game, but uh, yeah.
we are going to finish in third place in the league um you could say it's very disappointing as you can see the team morale unhappy and that is not good what are your thoughts in this loss uh there is a lot to improve for sure i just sank down the team morale right now things went <laughs> too bad to, from bad to worse you expected this outcome i'm surprised it ended like the, oh very unhappy oh look at that look at that oh boy 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 trying to find a positive that's <laughs> <laughs> oh you lost my imagine today did your goal did your goal come too late oh uh definitely i gotta be honest the performance was very unacceptable but the team morale has gone under the ground uh this could be the spell of the end of the barcelona career mode <laughs> oh look at that <laughs> manager <laughs> 50 and there still has to be the calculation for um oh my god 11 points behind the group leaders uh i'm going to conclude this episode right here the next episode we're going to be finding out whether we do have a, a job or not um it's gonna be very quick it's gonna be very quick i'm just gonna go through all leagues and see how well we did or how poorly we did for this time around and wrap up the season that way and we can find out whether we are going we're gonna be the manager of this team or not for next season but without any further ado thank you so much for watching make sure you do subscribe to the channel drop a like on the video and i'll catch you on the next one i'm out